Here we're going to tie a Moorish mouse pattern. This is a great topwater fly for both trout and bass. It's a popular fly in Alaska for big rainbows. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a, a dark brown piece of rabbit and I'm going to trim off all the fur on the uh, top or the front portion of the rabbit and I'm going to leave about half an inch of uh, fur exposed at the back. And we want to tie in a tail here that's about one to two times the, the length of the entire fly. We're just going to tie that in here right at the, the back of the fly, right on top of the shank, and just let it hang off the back. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some black foam that's about the width of the uh, gap of the hook. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this foam here so I have a little bit of a, a V, a little bit of a taper to it. I'm going to cut this taper so it's about uh, the length of the shank of the hook. I'll show you here in a second. Basically just like so. And we're going to tie this foam in here near the back of the hook with the thin portion being tied in. And it will taper nice and thick as it goes forward. There we go. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in the, the deer hair for the, the body. And what I'm going to do is each clump of deer hair that I'm going to tie in is going to be about the diameter of a pencil. And uh, when you first cut it off the, the hide here, uh, it's going to be nice and long. What I want to do is I want to trim it down to about halfway so that I'm only using fibers that are about uh, an inch or so long. I'm going to tie this in with the butt ends. Only uh, about a quarter inch of the butt ends uh, are going to be uh, exposed. And I'm going to do a nice loose wrap with my thread and then tighten down. And then what I can do is push all those fibers forward and lay my thread right in front of them. And I'm just going to repeat this process multiple times, working my way forward on the shank of the hook. And now for this last section here, near the head of the fly, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. And instead of tying in the deer hair with the butt ends uh, nice and short, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to tie this last piece in with the butt ends being just as long as the uh, tips. And I'm going to spin that deer hair. And I'm going to pull it all forward. Try to get my thread up here right to the eye. There we go. Now we're ready to pull our foam over the top. Before I do, I kind of roughly split everything to the side. I'm going to cut out just a little channel here for our foam to lay down in. Just a rough little channel. And I can pull that foam forward. I'm going to stretch it a little bit as I pull it forward. I'm going to pull on it a little bit tight. I'm going to try to force all the deer hair away from the eye of the hook as well with my middle finger and thumb. I'm going to do a nice loose wrap over that foam. Then I'll do another loose wrap. Then I'll pull down nice and tight on that foam. Just like so. And I'll give my foam a quick rough cut so I can whip finish. All I'm going to do is just whip finish over the, the top of everything here. Kind of hold all the fibers out of the way if you can. Nice tight wraps. Then I can trim out my thread. Then I'll trim that foam so that I have about a quarter inch facing off the front. Then I'll kind of roughly splay out all the deer hair here, pull it all to the side. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the bottom of this fly flush very close to the shank of the hook all the way back to the back basically where I tied in the tail And you can either leave it like that if you like a nice wide profile mouse, but what I actually like to do is just kind of roughly taper it back. But uh, it's just kind of personally what you like the looks of when you trim it. I like just a nice little tapered body to it. And uh, I, I don't mind if they're a little rough like this. The tips don't have to be perfectly even. I know a lot of guys who tie them, they want the tips to be absolutely even. And they'll even hair stack the fibers before they tie them in. But uh, I found that that really doesn't uh, make a big difference. It doesn't really matter to the fish. I tie them rough like this. It's just less work. I don't have to stack them each time. And that's really all there is to the Moorish Mouse and you can add some super glue or head cement to uh, the head here and also a lot of guys to keep it from rolling from side to side even though this one won't we're, we tie it pretty tight they'll inject some super glue or some uh, head cement into the actual underside or the body itself but uh, if you tie it right with some nice tight wraps and some heavy thread uh, you can probably skip that step I usually do on most of mine and uh, you can buy all the materials for this fly at intheriffle.com.